everybody, welcome to MB Chef. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make stuffed bell peppers. Delicious. Everything's delicious. And no animals are harmed in the making of these peppers. All right, here we go. All right, are you ready to make stuffed bell peppers, vegan style? Here we go. First, we're going to start off with, you guessed it, bell peppers. And I like to mix it up and use a little red and little green. Uh, keep in mind, I'm cutting my recipe in half because I'm just making this for me, but my recipe will make eight servings. So it calls for four bell peppers. And the first thing I'm going to do is clean these up and cut them in half and I'm going to lay them in a um, casserole dish with a shallow layer of water and kind of pre-cook the peppers a little bit. From just a little bit. Not completely. Okay, so these are cleaned out. Just cut off the top and scoop out the insides. Cut these in half. And lay them in the dish. A little bit of water. Now you can use a microwave, although I am not a fan of microwave ovens. I'm actually going to cover these with foil and bake them at 375 for about 15 minutes or so. I'm going to check them and just want a little fork tender. Just don't want to overdo it because they're going to bake some more later once they get stuffed. Meanwhile, while my peppers are pre-cooking a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and cook up some rice. So this is, this is a uh, nice uh, blend I prefer for this recipe, but you can use brown or white rice or whatever, whatever turns you on, whatever floats your boat. So I'm just going to cook this according to the instructions on the package and get this going on the stove. So while my peppers are cooking and my rice is cooking, I'm going to start on the stuffing. So I'm going to start with some soy crumbles. This is Morningstar. There are several other brands available out there. I have my crumbles in the pan. I'm adding some oil. Olive oil, organic. Next I will add a chopped yellow onion. Oh, how many times have I forgotten that I'm doing a percentage of a recipe? <laughs> Wait, I doubled that. Wait, I cut that in half. That looks about right. We'll add that to the pan. A couple cloves of minced garlic. One, two, in you go. I'm mincing. So there's the garlic. Now the onions are hitting my eyes. Next we're going to add a cup of uh, chopped mushrooms. Actually half a cup. See? <laughs> I almost forgot. Therapy! After a long crazy day, take it out on the vegetables. Sorry. Sorry, mushrooms. <laughs> Just kidding. Just chopping them up. So we're going to get this going on the stove. Just going to saute this up a little bit until onions and mushrooms are pretty well cooked. Oh, and just for chuckles, I'm going to chop up the ends of my bell peppers and add those to the mix mixture. You didn't know you were going to be stuffing a bell pepper with bell pepper, did you? Why not? It adds a little extra flavor. It doesn't go to waste. It's a win-win, I, I say. All right, so here we are at the stove. We're cooking our mixture. We're going to add all of our spices now. So, first we have 
runner up we have a half a teaspoon just because I'm cutting my recipe in half remember half a teaspoon of thyme half a teaspoon of sage I'm always a little extra generous with my spices. It's just how I, it's how I, how I roll. And we're going to do a half a tablespoon of oregano, which is the equivalent of a teaspoon and a half. Oh, there it goes again. The flipping spice cap. Teaspoon and a half. You could use fresh herbs if you grow your own herbs. Always taste better if you do. And we're going to use just shy of a teaspoon of salt. And a quarter teaspoon of pepper. going and again with soy crumbles you're really not looking to brown them I, I see I brown this a little bit you're just looking to cook the veggies up a bit the onion and pepper mushrooms mainly and everything all nice and mixed together so now I have three things going at once multitasking as usual and I am going to chop up a large tomato to add to this. There it is, it's going in the pan. Just like that. I have my assistant here helping me today. <laughs> yes, a glass of nice dry Sauvignon Blanc. And I'm obligated to say that if you're under 21, please do not try this at home. I'm getting my mozzarella cheese ready. I'm just going to shred half a cup or so. And my Parmesan cheeses, I have several to choose from. It's the non-dairy, non-soy version by Follow Your Heart. And then this is a Whole Foods dairy version. I might do a little half and half. I'm not sure. But I don't need that much. This is just to sprinkle on the top of the peppers once they're stuffed. Optional. All cheeses are optional in this recipe. All right, I have my stuffing mixture all ready to go and I'm just going to add the, the uh, mozzarella cheese to this to let it melt in there with it. And once the rice is done, I will be adding that to the mixture as well. I've taken it off the heat. I'm just letting it melt in there on its own. All right, so I have my pre-baked peppers, just fork tender. <laughs> fork tender. And now I'm gonna drain the water out of here. And I'm almost ready to stuff these babies. All right, now I have my rice that's all cooked here and I'm gonna add it to my mixture. And this is gonna make, <laughs> even though I cut my recipe in half, it's still gonna make more than enough for, to stuff four peppers. So if this happens to you, you know what you can do? You can put this in a freezer-proof container, pop it in the freezer, and how easy will that be to make this again, to just stuff a pepper and throw it in the oven for a few minutes and voila. I don't even know that I'm gonna use all this rice that I cooked. Deviations. But here it is. That's, that's, more, that's more like enough to stuff six halves. We're gonna stuff these extra high <laughs> and uh, I'll let it cool down just a little bit so I can handle it. And it 
it's still pretty warm, but I'm going to go for it here. So we're just going to take and get your clean hands in there. And go ahead and just load up these peppers. Sure, I'll make a big fat mess. You know, if you don't like what you're doing, you're not having fun, and the food doesn't taste good, then you're not really. <laughs> what am I trying to say? I might have to edit that out because I lost my train of thought. I was going to say you should have fun, and the food should taste good, and this food will. <laughs> Cooking has not, never been a real serious, uh, meaning I've always had fun cooking. There you go. I'm going to stop talking now. So see how much there is? These are going to be so piled high. Some of the stuffing is going off into the dish, and that's okay too. Because it's all going in the same place, ultimately. There we have them all piled high. So I'm now I'm going to sprinkle my Parmesan cheese on the top and I'm going to cover this with foil and put them back in the oven at 375. I'm going to go for 15 to 20 minutes and you just want them heated through and the peppers continued, you know, the peppers uh, cooked all the way, not overcooked. Nobody likes a soggy pepper. All right, so here we have our stuffed peppers out of the oven, all ready to go. Don't you want it? Eat it! <laughs> so there you have your stuffed bell peppers. I hope you enjoy them. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, bon appetit.